Okay guys, so I've only been on Christmas break for two days, but uh, I've already found something to do. So I was reading through the 30 Arduino projects for the Evil Genius book, and uh, there's one project that I found particularly interesting. It is a temperature logger, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I, could, I thought of many different purposes to use this, because what it does is if you were to plug a, a battery into your Arduino, after you get the sketch running and you start logging it, you can unplug the USB, and as long as it's in an external power supply, it'll keep logging the temperature that it's reading. So you can set it for every one minute to every nine minutes, and uh, it'll log until you tell it to stop. So you can put this outside and log the temperature throughout the day, and if you had a fan or something, then uh, you know, you could uh, set the fan to turn on at the hottest parts of the day. So uh, let's look at the Arduino sketch. Now the Arduino sketch was um, mostly in the 30 Arduino projects for the Evil Genius book. However, some changes needed to be made. Because they were using a different thermistor than I was, their scaling for the temperature was a bit off. So if you remember, uh, the first video or the first blog post that I did, it was for the NTC thermistor, and we converted that data ourselves. So uh, I used that conversion. All I did to modify their code was I added a double up here for VR1. That's 10,000, just because they didn't have it. I could have put 10,000 down to my code, but uh, I could modify it a lot easier up here if I didn't want it to be 10,000. So in here, it's asking you for, uh, or it's setting what the serial monitor is going to do. You'll see this when I run it. Uh, if you download the sketch and look at it, you can tell what this is doing pretty easily. And uh, right here is where it's converting this. So the reason I knew that this wasn't converting was when I ran my original Arduino sketch for the NTC thermistor, it said that my room was about 23 degrees. But when I ran this and asked it to return its logs, it uh, said it was 43. So I knew that something was wrong in the temperature conversion. This is what we did in the first sketch. So I simply uh, copy and pasted these three lines over and deleted what they had. Uh, to be fair to the author of the book, he did say that if you're using a different thermistor, that uh, it wouldn't work. So that was good. It told me that uh, the temperature conversion is probably off. So once I changed that, it worked perfectly. Uh, I'm just going to compile the sketch, and while it compiles, I'll show you my breadboard. So this is my breadboard that I used. It's plugged into the Arduino just by the USB right now, and uh, this is what it is. It's exactly the same as my first blog post, but instead of having a 10k potentiometer here, I just put in a 10k ohm resistor. Uh, since we had the potentiometer turned up to full anyway, it didn't really matter, and I found using resistor a bit easier. So I'm uploading a sketch now, and it might help if I plug my analog pin in. So this is going into A0, by the way, and we'll check out the serial monitor. So it'll say ready when it's ready to go, and if you look up here, that's its first command. So if you uh, press 1, it sets the sample period to every 1 minute. So as long as you leave this over, it'll record the temperature every 1 minute that it's going. Uh, you can get it to display it in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. If you want Fahrenheit, you simply type F, and if you want Celsius, you type C. By default, it's going to go to C, but just to make sure, I type C anyway. Uh, so if you want to see how it's running, you press question mark, and that is everything it's giving. Now for you, if you're running this and it says num readings, if num readings is anything but zero, it's because you've ran this and you didn't reset it. So to reset it, you press X. It'll say data cleared, and then you press question mark again, and you'll get zero. To run this, you press G for go, and it will start logging your data. I'll show you guys a quick example of this now. I did it over a 10 minute period. So I obviously fast forward through it, and then at the end, I'll uh, talk to you guys again. Just an example for this, 
if I were to stop it, if I pressed R. Uh, I hadn't even been going for a minute, but it's uh, 23 degrees in my room. Uh, later on, or the next clip, it'll say the average temperature is about 19. It's because I was not in my room, so that's why. Uh, all right, so I'll uh, put you guys over and I'll show you what it's doing in real time. Okay, so here I have the Arduino, uh, you can see my breadboard, and I have it plugged into an external power supply, and I have this serial monitor open. So once I start this, we can unplug my USB, and it will keep maintaining data. So you can see how this would work if you had it hooked up to a battery or something, and you put it outside, and you could measure that, and then bring it inside and record all the data over the day. And then if you had a fan, you could set it to turn on at those intervals where it got really hot or cold. So there's many purposes for this, and I'll just demonstrate to you how it works. So what we'll do, I'll press G for go, and it will start the logging. And I'll go over here to my uh, high quality online timer and start that. And I'll just unplug my uh, USB cable. So I guess in uh, you know 15 minutes or so, uh, I'll stop this and come back. But uh, you can also stop it before 15 minutes. You can stop whatever you like, really. So I'll let it run for a few minutes, but uh, I'll fast forward through this. Okay, so to display what we have just read, we uh, just press R on our serial monitor. And here are the 10 uh, data points that we just got. So it was on for 11 minutes, so there are 11 readings, but that is basically what it is. You can see uh, here, when I put my finger on it, it's uh, 22, 21 degrees, and then it goes back to its uh, regular temperature. So I hope you found this uh, video useful. I hope it gave you some ideas for projects. And I also hope that you will take a look at 30 Arduino projects for the evil genius. If you look on my blog, there's my fritzing image for this project. Uh, I have the sketch that you can download, and I also have a full parts list that's here. As well as I linked uh, the book that I use, 30 Arduino Projects for the Evil Genius. I linked it on my blog, so if you click the icon, it will bring you to its website. You can order off Amazon, or if you walk down to your local computer store, uh, they might have it. 
uh, again, uh, thanks for watching this. If I can, I'll have a second video up for the Christmas break. But like I said before, I have to get some parts, and it's going to be a lot harder to do than this one. So it's going to take some time. If I can get it up, that's great. If I can't, I will post it uh, when I finish it. So I will see you next time. Have a great Christmas.